Hello my friends. All right, in this video I'm going to show you the best possible way to be starting up your seeds, okay? Uh, you've already watched my video about the seed starting setup, okay? And so you've got the lights, the heat mat, the timer, all that stuff set up. But now I'm going to show you the ideal method for actually starting them, what media to use, all right? For that we're going to use these soil blockers, okay? I'll put a link to this in the description if you want to get some of your own. This is the best way for numerous reasons, but primarily because it's the natural way that they just are able to spread out their roots and they don't have to hit that plastic of containers and they get all root bound because as soon as they hit plastic, they start circling around inside the little thing and they can never really fully recover from that. So there's a lot of transplant shock when you take them outside of their plastic containers and stuff. So for that reason, this method is the best it's the most natural they like to just spread out and once they once the roots hit the outside of the cube and it senses oxygen they air prune naturally and so it goes back down and back into the cube it's just by far the superior way and plus we don't have to use any kind of uh, material or waste or anything like that so uh, get your blocker and then contrary to popular belief you do not need a big specialized uh, mix for soil blocking. Uh, on the internet, there's all kinds of wildly confusing, uh, complicated mixtures that people make their self. You don't need that, okay? You don't. You just need some good, a bag of potting soil will work. If you wanna make your own, go ahead. Uh, but a bag of potting soil will work. So we got our potting soil and we've got it mixed. We've got it really wet, okay? You can see. You see, I can wring water out of that. Uh, and I don't really have to squeeze all that hard to wring the water out of. So you want it nice and wet. And then it's pretty self-explanatory. We just take our soil blocker here and we're gonna fill it. We're just gonna make sure that that uh, soil, that there's plenty of soil in there. We're gonna press it down a few times. Yeah, make sure that it's nice and firm, but not uh, ridiculously firm. Okay, now I will just set it out here like so. And that is going to produce these nice little cubes. And it's got a little hole in the center. You just place the seed and cover it with a little bit of soil. And there you go. Now, most people are like, oh, but what about it falling apart? It actually doesn't really fall apart so long as you make it so long as you compact it hard enough and you make sure that it's wet and you shouldn't really be handling them that much anyways but uh, yeah this is the way to go you just do the whole container like this okay guys we got them all done we got this whole tray done and you can see here how they are nice and separate so they got the little indent in them we're just gonna place one seed or two, depending, uh, in each one. And then just pinch it close, and it's good to go. Now, one thing I forgot to mention downstairs, uh, but when we start seeds like this, we do it just like the onion trays, in that we put one tray that has holes in the bottom. Uh, you can't really see it. This tray has holes in the bottom. The second tray has no holes in the bottom. That is because when we water these, we are going to pull the top tray out Fill the bottom tray with about a quarter of an inch of water and then set the top tray back into it and that's going to wick up nice and even and prevent all kinds of issues that most people have with starting seeds bottom watering will solve most of that okay so uh, right now um, it's like March 6 and I'm planting things like collard greens uh, I get these ones from Baker Creek collard greens the celery um, Gloria vine cousin the cabbage which I make sauerkraut with, it finishes nice and early. That's a good one to start now. Um, mustard green, I love that, some sauteed mustard green. And maybe one or two kale plants, but man, kale is so, ugh. I don't understand why it's so popular. Maybe because it's impossible to kill and it grows everywhere. Especially it grows good in like Seattle, where all the hip people are. Um, okay, well that's pretty much it. So, Next video, I'm gonna show you a way, uh, uh, if you don't have the soil blocks, I'll show you a way that uh, is really convenient and economical, and it also works, but not nearly as good as these soil blocks, man. This is the way to do it.
All right. Our ancestors did a variation of this. Uh, but, yeah. All right.